Sears stores around the country are closing. Many customers still rely on this company for a service that comes right to your home, appliance maintenance. But one North Texas man says that Sears' mistake almost forced him into bankruptcy. That's when the Ones for Justice stepped in. It was Super Bowl Sunday 2019, but instead of watching the Patriots take on the Rams, Michael Kaczynski tackled a challenge of his own. I was sitting over, over here, and, and I got to right here, and I was like, oh my God. Water started streaming into his kitchen and living room, the flooding nearly two inches deep. The water was, was all here. This here was all all soaking wet. Uh, even the dog's bowls were floating. The culprit? His washing machine. Kaczynski says a maintenance worker from Sears had recently fixed the appliance. Only later did he find the hose disconnected. With me being disabled, I have a spinal cord injury and I can't be jumping around and fixing all this. But he did. The disabled vet bought a shop vacuum, cleaned up the mess, purchased new carpeting, then hired a company to address the water damage. In all, he paid more than $1,800. And I'm on disability, and that's 1800 is really going to hurt somebody on disability. According to Kaczynski, Sears told him to work through his homeowner's insurance. Then Sears would negotiate what to pay. But Kaczynski fears how much he could get stuck with. And I just don't understand why Sears won't pay for it. Um, you know, when it was totally their fault. Good news for Kaczynski. It looks like confusion is partly to blame for the situation. Just days after we contacted Sears, a spokesperson says its insurance company will cover all documented expenses. Alana Altler with the Ones for Justice. Alana, thanks. Any day is a bad day, but you don't mess around with Super Bowl no, Sunday. No, not at all. Phone call, email, put you in touch with Alana if you need her. Give her a call, Ones for Justice, 817-586-7211, or email justice at cbs.com.